Welcome to the next video. Um, this one is um, explaining the snap feature, which is up here. Um, now, the normal one seems to be grid or grid relative. Basically, what that means is um, this will snap to whatever the grid settings are. Um, this is the grid, and these are the grid settings. So, um, first of all as well, I'm using a large monitor so I can see everything here. If you can't see that, that, that and that, right click somewhere and get rid of some of the other stuff so that you can see it. Okay, so um, we've got it on snap to grid, bar. So now if I move this, this will only, I can only move it to the bars, I can't move it to anywhere in between. If I want to move it into the beats, all I'll do is change that to beat. And now I can change it, now I can move it to beats. If I want to get more, even more precise, um, I can use use quantize. Now it will let me move to sixteenths. As you can see, it's snapping to sixteenths. If I want to get deeper, it will let me quantize to 30 seconds. You can also, by the way, move apart by holding down control and using the left right arrows on your keyboard. So and it will now, that's now moving exactly 30 seconds. 30 seconds, not 30 seconds as in time. Okay, um, the next one is grid relative. Now what that means is, um, this will use relative to wherever it is that I have it. So as you can see at the moment, it's moving bars still. Now if I take, if I move that to there and take the snap off, and just move that to there, then put the snap back on. Now it will move exactly one bar relative to that position. So if I move it to the right, you'll see it will just be past three, or just in front of three, sorry. And same that way, it will just be in front of one, but you can't see that because it won't go further. So as you can see, it's just in front of three, or it was, but because I took it too far back, it cancelled that out. So as you can see, just in front of three, just in front of four. So that can be really handy as well, the grid relative one. The next one is events. What that means is it snaps to um, the other audio file, um, the, the audio file that's directly closest to it, it snaps to the events. Now that's an event, that's an event, that's an event, and that's an event. So if you watch, it snaps to there. It should snap to here next. Yeah, see how it could just kind of jumps in there? And then to that one, that one, that one. Okay, the next one is shuffle. Now this is an interesting one. What this allows you to do is move a part from here onto any other track and it will shuffle itself in. So if I go in, if I split this, if I go back to grid bar and just split that in two bars and then go back to shuffle. So that's now two bars of music. If I want to move this into the middle there, if I move it up, you'll see what happens. See the green line? If I drop that, it'll move this part here to the right. There you go. So as you can see, it's just slotted that in there. I'll do that again for you. So you grab a part. It doesn't matter how big it is. You can take it up. You can drop it into any whatever. If I take it out, drop that in there, it squeezes it in between those two parts. Okay, the next one, magnetic cursor. That's pretty self-explanatory. If I've got the cursor here, if I move this part, it will snap to the cursor like it's a um, a magnet. So there you go, see it? Just kind of falls into place. There you go. Same this way. If I've got that here, bring that along, it will snap into. There you go. It just magnetically grabs it, snaps it in. And the, the, the other ones are just a combination, really. So you can have grid and cursor. So it will now snap to the grid, which is set to bar. So it's snapping to bar, but it will also snap to the cursor. Um, let me just take that off. If I put the cursor there, put that back on, it will now snap to the... should snap to the cursor. Doesn't seem to want to do that. Grid and cursor, please. Okay, maybe if I put that on there. There you go. It's, it's, it's snapping to the cursor now. And again, events in cursor, so snap into the cursor, and it will also snap to events, so it's snapping into there. And events, grid, and cursor. Again, events, uh, sorry, grid, so beats, 
it will snap to the cursor as well and it will also snap to the grid sorry events in the audio so I'll delete that it's snapping to the events as well okay that's snap I hope that helped you out and um, see you in the next video